One of the co-founders of the manufacturer, XAG, told me how the cost of its drones would fall as the world recovers from the pandemic. As the scale of drone operation is going bigger and bigger, the production cost of drone and robots is going down very fast. However, we are facing a global shortage of chips and materials So, due to the COVID-19. So uh, in this moment, the price of the drone is still pretty high. But I, I do believe after one or two years, that the cost of the price of the drone will go down very much. What's been the experience in China in terms of jobs? I mean, I'm guessing that uh, uh, drones and robots are taking the jobs of people who work in rural communities. Not really taking the job away from the rural community, but to replace the labor shortage. Because every year in China, we have about 12 million people moving from rural countryside to the cities. And we still need people to work in the farmland to feed us. So drones and robots now are replacing the uh, left, uh, leftover jobs or, or, uh, to, to solve the labor shortage issue now in China. There's a huge cultural difference in terms of uh, the use of drones and aerial spraying uh, in the UK and in Europe. Uh, aerial spraying of chemicals is by and large prohibited. Uh, Australia, New Zealand and China allow aerial spraying by uh, aircraft uh, and, dr and drone. That's a big problem, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is a problem. The different countries and regions have different regulations among drone spraying. But if we think drone as agricultural machinery, it is no different than manual spray on the ground or a tractor spray. Now, the British government says uh, it welcomes high-tech solutions to uh, rejuvenate uh, many dying rural communities. It's even offering uh, thousands of pounds to uh, older farmers to, uh, to retire. Uh, but many young people are simply not attracted to uh, life in the countryside. I wonder if technology changes that. There's something sexy and exciting and new about technology, isn't there? Yes, the technology is sexy and... Because drones, robots and AI are helping the farmers to be able to manage larger size of the farmland, their income will increase substantially. So they will be attracted, go back to uh, the countryside to be a farmer as a profession. And also, because of the rural infrastructure is building uh, very fast, for instance, you can order different services and have very similar life compared with cities. I believe uh, in the near future, young people will choose farmer again as a as their job. And drones aren't just used for spraying chemicals, are they? They have many other uses in farming. Yes. In the past seven years, we have first developed crop protection drones, which are designed to spray chemicals. But now our drones can also do seeding, uh, fertilization, and also remote sensing to find out what's happening in the field for, for farmers to predict disease, herbs, and, and fungus.